Hey, Crit Weirdos, this is my So, a little bit about how I got started in film and television. So, most of my life I was in the arts, uh, painting, drawing, uh, sewing. You know, I did a whole fashion stint for years professionally and things like that, whether it was behind the camera as a fashion photographer or a designer making leather handbags here in Toronto, but also internationally and also traveling for fashion weeks and things like that. So I've learned a lot over the years in terms of design and everything like that. And honestly, I'm grateful that all these different hats that I was wearing in all these different worlds that I was inhabiting allowed me to travel, to you know network, to meet different people, hone skills and everything like that. So when I finally came back to film, it was beautiful, honestly, because if I did the linear way that you, at least the industry tells you to do, go to film school and then da da da, da I, I don't think I would have had the mindset or the skills to do my own projects. Everyone has an issue, obviously, of financing projects and things like that. But for me, it's if any, if there is ever a setback, it's the most common thing. It's financing a project, but the actual how to do it and you name it, that's not an issue. For me, uh, right out of high school, I was torn between many different creative disciplines. And once I came to realize that film was for me, I tried to get into a film and television program that at Seneca at York, which was a joint program for York University and Seneca College. And it was in the north of Toronto. And it was like a three stage admissions. I got into the first two, but I did not have a professional or semi-professional uh, portfolio in terms of video and things like that. I had more of an artistic -y, you know, documentary style uh, video portfolio. It did not work, so I didn't get in. So I kind of was like bumming around for like half a semester because once you don't get in, you lose because that's the only place that I wanted to focus on, honestly. I'm grateful that it did not work out because I learned a lot because from there I went to art and design and then to graphic design and then photography, fashion photography, fashion design, advertisement, being an art director, publications, having my own magazine, all these aspects and traveling for fashion weeks, being in, <laughs> an agent for a person at one point at the height of it's a whole story at one point. If you want to know more, just comment down below. I'll make another video for that. It's pretty cool. And honestly, most of the things that I do or places that I've been, projects and everything like that is usually documented in my Instagram. And you can find that within the links and everything like that. So after all those years doing all these different things, there was always a through line. And the through line was I will use any medium from drawing to design to photography to whatever it was to create worlds and tell a story. And once that clicked in my head that it would eventually take me back to what I really wanted to do, which was film and tell stories, it was like a light bulb moment. And I was happy. I was, oh my God, so happy to realize that the in its infinite weird universe, it was always drawing me back to the thing that I thought I lost or that I thought that, you know, I wasn't going to be in and it was film. So the real aha moment was... I got to work on film productions. I just contacted people and I'm like, I will do, even though I had an, a, I was professionally working different things. At that point, I was from, I was at square one trying to get into the film industry. It was, it was a couple of years back. So at that point, you know, you got to humble yourself and I'm like, I'll work for free. So one director was like, Hey, I got your email. <laughs> yes. Come on to this project. And I came on as a stills photographer. And I did not get paid, but for me, I knew from previous experiences, you just got to get in at the base level and just be seen. You got to be seen. You got to, people got to see your work ethic. They got to get your vibe. That's and the film industry is all about connections and vibes and everything like that. Honestly, sometimes you'll, you'll see people that are not the best technically, but people are good in terms of socially. And that's being very honest. Like you want to work with these people because they just make the whole 14 and or more hours experiences on set more enjoyable. And even if they're not good, then they'll get better because they're surrounded by other talented people. It becomes this family that hopefully 
you know, encourages you and allows you to grow and you can talk to them. And a lot of these productions, you'll realize it's not what you know, it's who you know. But if you are honestly a solid inside, if you're solid inside and out and you have the talent and you're not afraid, reach out. You have nothing to lose. Email people, contact people, just go and do it. Don't be afraid because at the end of the day, at least you tried. So for me, once I got in and I was working for free for that first production, from there I started, you know, networking and I was getting actual paid productions and things like that. But then that also motivated me because I was getting paid pretty decently uh, to go to my original passion, which was like, felt like to write my own things. So in that time frame, I essentially wrote a feature film and for the sake of just creating, because I want to see if I can do it. And I did. And without expecting too much, I put it out there and it got to a point where I got funding for it. And I was amazed. I was like, this is fucking awesome. I did this script to see if I can do it. But the fact that people love what you love. And that's one thing I always try to teach people is like, there will always be people that love what you love and people that won't. And that's okay. Go towards the people that love what you love and just continue to make things. You know what I mean? So people loved what I've created. I got funding for it. My first feature film got funding for it, development funding, all these other things. Then comes, you realize that you need the right people around you, honest to God. And also you learn that you're not always ready for certain things. And that's understandable. In hindsight, that's what it is. But when you're in it, sometimes you're like, why is things not working? Why aren't things not working, et cetera, et cetera. But you realize not everything is going to go the way you, you want it to go in that moment. Just like me not getting into that program. But now all these things will always come together. You realize over time. It's, it's very, I'll get into it in other videos, but just keep going. Honestly, don't give up and just keep going. So even the film, the short film that I made recently was me kicking my own ass and saying, I have to create the short that is bubbling in this mind and in my heart. And even if I have no budget or no funding or anything, you just have to do it because you have to do, you know, cost, <laughs> cost benefit analysis type of aspect. You got to see what you got and what you can do. And I'm grateful that all these experiences and all these different industries and, in, you know, traveling the world to doing all, doing all these amazing things allowed me to plan uh, to write scripts and everything like that, to writing, direct, you name it. So for me, I set a goal and that goal was to finish this film. So in four days, I wrote that script, that Velo script. And in four weeks, give or take one extra day, I essentially shot it all by myself with the help of the lead uh, Isaac or in the lead's name was, um, uh, Alex, but Isaac solid guy, having the right people around you, the right environments and everything like that. So this film essentially really had no budget. The only cost was gear. I had my own gear, but the gear was on the bike. You can see that video and, and everything like that, me breaking down how I made it, but just a little snippet. That's essentially me in the current state of what things are I'm writing pilots, I'm writing features, I'm down that path. The advice I would give is just keep going. Honestly, it's not always easy. And in this world where everything's becoming AI or things, things are like not looking good financially in terms of industry and things like that, just keep creating because the tools are getting cheaper and easier and you can get your, you can reach more people nowadays. Just do it. Honestly, that sounds like a Nike thing, but yeah, honestly, just do it. Just create and keep going because at the end of the day, you have something to say and you have a vision. If you can't do it on your own, reach out to people. If they say no, it's okay. Keep reaching out to more people, you know, and if you can't make a full short, write the script, you know, use AI or whatever to show the visuals of that. Do anything you can because the whole thing is just getting your stuff seen because even that is a major thing. Put it on Instagram, put it on YouTube. Just keep going, honestly. 
for me, I love teaching as well as showing creative things and sharing other aspects of who I am, what I do, and the things I learned. I don't like gatekeeping and I want to share things with people and all things that I've learned. So keep sharing, keep growing and don't give up and just do it. Honestly, reach out to people. That's it. That's essentially me in a, in a, in a short, concise way as best as I can. I ramble, but it's all good. So if you want to know more about certain aspects of what I talked about, please comment down below and I will deep dive with visuals and everything like that. And I'll try my best to communicate in the best way I can. So until next time, peace weirdos. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell notification for more creative and educational content every week. Or if you need help with your upcoming film or story projects, check out our website and our new guided story structure notebooks that help make plotting your scripts and stories a breeze.